Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture, just to see how those incidents may or may not affect our daily lives. Listen, I'm pulling from the daily news, and the story was written by Teresa Brain, and here it is, the headline, Jamie Foxx accused of 2015 sexual assault at NYC Rooftop Lounge. So... <clears throat> We're going to go over this article, and I do have a copy of the lawsuit, but if you look at the red letters in the bottom of this lawsuit, it says it may not uh, have been accepted or filed yet. I am making the assumption that it has been filed, but we are going to go on. All right. It says here, and I'm reading from a phone because, well, you can't see, but I'm in a new location. Y'all. Happy uh, Indigenous People Day. Actor Jamie Foxx is facing sexual assault allegations in a lawsuit filed on the eve of the expiration of the Adult Survivors Act, which opened a one-year window for adult survivors of sexual assault to sue their abusers, regardless of when the abuse occurred. So this is happening in New York City. So that uh, adult, we'll look at that. We'll click this link and then read what that law is. But it has expired on the 23rd, I believe. The alleged 2015 uh, assault occurred at New York City Rooftop Lounge, Catch NYC and Roof, according to the suit filed Wednesday in a New York Supreme Court and reviewed by the Daily News. In it, the plaintiff going by Jane Doe, which is interesting because everyone else has uh, named themselves, but a lot of these young people are going by Jane Doe. And if you hear noise in the background, that's just my family, y'all. We have a good time. In it, the plaintiff, going by Jane Bow, claims she found herself seated near a root box upon arrival around 11 p.m. At, 11, at 1 a.m., the woman's friend walked over and asked Fox for a photo, to which he replied, sure, baby, anything for you. Fox then turned his attention to the plaintiff, telling her, wow, you have that supermodel body. The compliments... The complaint states, as well as telling her she looks like actress Gabrielle Union. No tea, no shade. But I have never seen Jamie Foxx, and not to say that he doesn't, but I have never seen Jamie Foxx with a, a black woman. So I'm making the assumption this woman is black. Looking like Gabrielle Union, Fox then allegedly dragged the woman by the arm to a more secluded area of the rooftop where he placed both of his hands on plaintiff's waist, moved them under plaintiff's crop top, and began rubbing her breast. The suit states, excuse me, rubbing her breast, breast, the suit states, caught off guard, she tried to move away. She says... She glanced at a security guard only to see him walking away after noticing them. Fox proceeded to slide his hand into plaintiff's pants and put his fingers on and in plaintiff's vagina and anus. Wow. That's when the woman's friend walked over looking for her, at which point Fox stopped touching her and walked towards the security guard. The incident left the plaintiff injured Sick, sore, lame, and disabled, the complaints, the complaint states, adding that she had to seek medical treatment and was unable to get back to her daily life amid a period of great conscious pain and suffering that continues to this day. She will permanently be affected by the injuries and emotional distress she incurred as a result of the sexual assault abuse, assault and battery. The suit continues. As a result of the heinous act, negligence and gross negligence of the defendants, as foresaid, plaintiff suffered and continues to suffer severe emotional distress and anxiety, humiliation, embarrassment, post-traumatic stress disorder, and other uh, emotional damages. The suit accuses the restaurant owner of failing to protect the woman, knowing that Fox allegedly became badly behaved when drunk and that the bar personnel did not have proper training to spot his conduct and intervene. 
All right. So that is what the daily news is reporting. So we want to hit the the lawsuit. I'm gonna pull it up. Now the Daily News says that it was filed on Wednesday, uh, but the lawsuit says in the bottom, and you'll see it in just one moment. Let me go ahead and push it up. Here we go. All right, so you see there's a little red space down here at the bottom. They said that this is a copy of a pleading filed. Um, so they have this red thing. So I guess if it was filed, that this wouldn't be there. So I guess someone got a hold of this prior to the complete filing of it. But according to the Daily News that we just read, that the, the lawsuit was filed. So... These first couple of slides, it's, it just says that uh, Jane Doe, she's the plaintiff, and these are the people that she's suing. Eric Marlin Bishop, a.k.a. Jamie Foxx, Catch NYC and Ruth, Catch NYC Inc., Mark Birnbaum, Catch Hospitality Group, and Ninth Avenue LLC. And John and Jane Doe's one through 10 said names are being fic fictitious and intended for unknown names of staff and other defendants. So they added those last people because they were staff. You remember she talked about the bodyguard and all those other things. They're adding those people in as well as soon as they find out who they are. All right. To the above named defendants, you are hereby summoned to answer the complaint in this action and to serve a copy of your answer. Or if the complaint is not served with this summons, to serve a notice of appearance on plaintiff's attorney within 20 days after the services of this summon exclusively the day of service where services is made by delivery upon you personally within the state or within 30 days after completion of service where service is made by any other manner. In case of your failure to appear or answer, judgment will be taken against you by default for the relief demanded in the complaint. Okay. I will tell you that when I looked through this initial lawsuit, when I looked through this initial lawsuit, it's a lot of legal ease. And we're not going to go over all of this legal ease. These are the people that are being sued, as you see on this page. These are the parties that are being sued. I wanted to see if they just go in statement of facts. Here we go. This matter is filed timely as it is brought pursuant to the Adult Survivors Act, which states impertinent. Now, I guess they're going to go over the Adult uh, Act and we're going to skip on. All right, here we go. Number 36 is where it's all going to start, where all this stuff is actually happening. On or about August 26, 2015, at approximately 11 p.m., plaintiff and a friend arrived at 21 Ninth Avenue for the purpose of getting seats at the rooftop lounge and bar. Upon being seated, plaintiff noticed that defendant Mark Birnbaum was seated one table away having drinks with defendant Eric Marlon Bishop a.k.a. Jamie Foxx, all right? And we're not going to call him Eric Marlin Bishop. We're just going to call him Jamie Foxx from here on out, okay? Not long after being seated, plaintiff and her friend observed a large crowd growing around defendant Burnham and Foxx's table. As a result, defendant John Jane Doe's began moving the crowd of patrons away including nearly all of the patrons seated at the tables near Burn Bob and Fox. Despite them being the only two remaining in the area, plaintiffs and friends and her friends were never asked to be moved from the other table located beside Burnham and Fox. At some point near approximately 1 a.m. in August 27, 2015, after many patrons had left the area, plaintiff friend stood up from the table, walked over to defendant Fox, and asked if he would take a picture with her. 
Fox stated, sure, baby, anything, and walked plaintiff and walked to plaintiff's table. Several photographs were taken. While taking photographs, Mr. Fox appeared intoxicated. At one point, Fox roughly grabbed plaintiff, plaintiff's phone out of her hand and took additional photographs. Mm. Mm. Because he was already intoxicated. Fox then made several comments to plaintiff, including, wow, you have the supermodel body. You smell so good. You look like Nikki. When plaintiff asked who Nikki, Fox replied, Gabrielle Union. Fox proceeded to grab plaintiff by her arm and pulled her to the back area of the rooftop. Once in a more secluded area, Fox placed both of his hands on plaintiff's waist, moved them under the plaintiff's crop top, and began rubbing her breast. Plaintiff was caught off guard and attempted to step away from Fox. Plaintiff noticed defendant John Doe, a security guard of one of the defendants some distance away, who saw what was happening but walked further away. Fox proceeded to slide his hand into plaintiff's pants and put his fingers in and on her vagina and her anus. As this happened, plaintiff's friend walked over looking for plaintiff. Fox stopped touching plaintiff and walked over to where defendant John Doe, a security guard, was standing. So, this is what the, the plaintiff is alleging that Jamie Foxx did to her that night at the restaurant and said that it happened and nobody intervened to stop him. Child, first it was Diddy with all that mess with Cassie. Then it was the president of Bad Boy Records with all that mess that he's got on with his own Jane Doe. Then it's Jimmy Iovine who says where the plaintiff is someone that worked for him in his secretarial staff that is suing him. Flood doors are opening, aren't they? So the in New York, they have a certain act where if you've had any abuse happen to you in the past in New York State, you had one year to be able to come up and say, hey, this is what happened and file suit against them. So that has uh, selectively passed. Because here it is, what, the 23rd? And this was filed uh, what, yesterday or the day before yesterday. What do y'all think? You think Jamie Foxx is in trouble? You think he's going to settle this suit quietly like, uh, did he settle the suit? What do y'all think? All I can say, one of the things that 2023 has brought up is that this is a year of exposure. Everybody is being exposed for whatever types of behaviors that they have. And uh, I don't see where it's going to stop anytime soon. All right, people. That's all I have. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate all my followers and all my new followers. If you like what you see once you subscribe, please tell a friend, tell a kin, tell the heifer you can't stand that I'm over here making these videos, okay? And as always, people, we will continue to follow this uh, if there's any more movement on it. And as always, people, bye-bye.